I'm out of dodgy footage folks, I've literally just had my first cast um, set up, I'm trying to set my second rod up which we'll talk about in a minute, and I had a take on my first rod, the, just the on the bottom worm, and it looks like, look at that, it's a cracking roach, um, I'll unhook the little fella and then I'll come back to you. Hi everyone. Uh, you catch up with me today fishing Horsed Mill. I to something a little bit different today. So I'm doing some fresh water fishing. You normally see me on the beach doing the sea fishing. But today I'm going to give someone else a go. I've literally been here half an hour. Um, I'm fishing two rods today. One with just garden worms, which I've got my niece to dig for me. And then the other one I've got some bits out of the freezer, some sea dead baits. I'm going to try for a, you know, some pike or something. There. I've literally just cast out. And the rod went straight away, wasn't prepared, as you always are. Straight off with a uh, nice little roach. Lovely. Get this little fella back and then I'll explain to you my rigs I'm fishing with, techniques, um, where I am, what's the mill. And then let's fish for another couple of hours. Great start to the session there. So with the rod I just caught the, the roach on, this is the setup I'm using. Just got a, an 11 foot sensitive quiver tip rod and on the business end. standard dendrobina garden worm and then two BB shot about a foot and a half away from the hook which is a size 10 let's get it back out I forecast really heavy rain today. Um, I'll show you in a minute my little setup. I've got my, my brolly, got my lavu, of course I have. Um, so the, I've finally set up the, the second rod now um, with the, a bit bigger ledger setup. So there's a half bam, half ounce, ounce, a, bit weird, isn't it? a half ounce um, Erskine bomb, and then I've got a bit of bluey on the ends. So this is just the, the chance it rod, hopefully. Um, I've got a couple of mini blueies left out of the freezer from a, a sea fishing trip. Just going to see what's about, really. I've already had my, my roach first thing, so I'm more than happy with that. So I'm all set up. These are the rods. So I brought a bite along with me for the the bigger ledger bait, and then like I said, I've got my little really delicate quiver tip with the worm on it, with the, the light ledger rig as it were. Here's my setup. So there's the V. Looks like it's on the wonk, but it's actually my camera. And I've got my brolly. So here's my baits. Garden worms, a few lob in there, dendrobina, got my forceps just in case. I've got a few red maggots, literally got half a pint there. Just a, sort of loose feed. So the the bigger bait, 
it's under the tree, so there's a fallen tree there, and the smaller bait, that worm, is sort of in the middle, but it can, can move around quite freely. I have got quite a lot of current here, as you can see from the mill. It's, it's not fast here, but you get the odd leaf or twig, or get caught on the line, just pull it. Over there, there's a sort of inlet to another, sort of like a, like a drainage system. Um, the fish in the Norfolk Broads, basically the, the Norfolk Broads is one big drainage sort of system. But this is an actual river, the River Bure. So that's Horsted Mill, an old mill, which we'll talk about later, I'll show you a bit more. We'll go up there and have a look.
Some of the stump talking is coming walking past or rustling about the bushes. Um I've caught two fish now. Hopefully I've got enough footage. Well my GoPro died, the bigger camera died, I'm not having good fun with the cameras today, so I'm back on my phone. I said in early on in the video that I'll show you some of the course of the mill, the mill system. So here it is. A little walk around. Probably going to use my GoPro if it's got enough battery in it, and as I've got a hard case on it, I haven't got a microphone, so you might not hear me talking. Um, if I am talking, I'm probably going back to my phone. So, enjoy. Just thought I'd show you the comparison of Horsed Mill compared to the photo in the 1950s and then compared to what it looks like today. So, I, just, I don't know if you read on that board, um, it was basically operating until 1963 when the whole mill was literally burnt down so all you can see now is just brickwork pretty much and brick ruins because obviously on the picture here it's all wood um, so that's the mill in the 1950s and that's the mill today amazing <laughs>
gave it another hour in the spot I was fishing in this morning. Um, I've now moved, so I'm now fishing in the mill, mill pool itself. I moved 500 yards towards the mill. Um, you can see it in the background behind me, but there's the mill. Um, it has started raining. It said it was going to rain at 7 o'clock this morning, but it's now half 11 and it's just literally pissed it down. Um, I was meant to go to a different spot this morning, um, it's in open field pretty much, um, but it was going to rain so I didn't bother, that's why I came to the mill. Um, as you can see I'm surrounded by trees which has been quite helpful, it's given me a little bit of cover. I packed the Levu and some of my gear away which didn't really help, it's now started raining, got my body there. Um, so I'm still fishing the light and the heavier of the, the rods, should we call them that? Um, the heavy rods, the one with the heavy weight on, is just to the right hand side in the sort of inlet of the outlet of the mill pool, if that makes sense. Um, so the mill pool here is like a big washing machine. So it's deeper water over there and it's shallow water right on, sort of near my feet here. Um, but since it started raining, it's uh, brought all this weed up. Um, you probably saw me earlier pulling in a bit of weed thinking I was getting bites, but it was weed. So the rain stirred the water up a bit, a bit of colour in it. But it's still quite clear, you probably can't see that very well on the camera. I can certainly see the bottom from here. So the, the lighter of the rods, like I said the heavy ones out in the... to the right hand side, in, there's like an inlet, sort of there. Um, I fished this a few, like last two years ago, and um, there's a picture on Instagram of me here where I actually caught a brown trout in that, just in that little cove. So I hope for another one today, unless it absolutely pisses it down more, and then I'll be off home. So the, the smaller of the rods, which are called the, the lighter rods, is sort of just being taken round in the current, just down to there, just down there. Is where I was this morning, further in, just down there, where I had my two fish. Just before I put my rod there, uh, my phone down, um, I had a little tap on this, uh, my lighter rod of the two. Um, I was struggling with weed a bit, but it's uh, certainly not weed. Uh, let's get it in and I'll. Do you want me to get a sec? There we go guys. Another roach. There we go, there we go.
there we go. That was uh, Horsted Mill and fishing at Horsted Mill for a morning. Um, it's now one o'clock. I've all packed up. Obviously, I'm back in the car. I had a bit of rain, so I didn't really want to um, stay out in it, really. I'm off to get a haircut. Um, thanks very much for watching, and I'll see you guys again soon.